Hello, everyone. Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions, uh, bullish in a bull market. I'm going to start out here just with the buy-sell ratio. And we uh, this is a really powerful indicator that we utilize here, focusing on current trend. We know that if we have a green line above red, that's currently a bullish market conditions that we want to be able to participate in. But at some point, those lines start to become really wide and we get an extreme in this indicator. When that starts to happen, we know that uh, the trend direction can be muted, either, either slowed or reversed entirely, whether that's a bearish trend and we're getting this wide reading here and we have a lot of stocks that are in sales versus right now we have a lot of stocks that are in buys. So at at some point, it becomes there, there becomes less and less momentum and less and less stocks to be able to add into that and, and add additional demand to that overall uptrend. So they need a, a little bit of a retracement. So we're in that area right here where markets are at the upper end of this range and uh, now we're now we're seeing uh, buy sell ratio starting to curl back together again i've mentioned this in pre, uh, prior updates watching for you know ultimately it's going to work itself back towards this line but it maybe it could look something like this where we do get another sell a little sell off here retracement or counter trend or pause or correction or again whatever we want to call that and then a little move back up again as they work back together again so some volatility anticipated here but probably looking at a little bit of a flat to a sideways if not a a, a deeper retracement here on the markets as a whole let's look at the s p 500 here s p 500 again the, the chart pattern it really hasn't budged we haven't even seen a day uh where we've moved back into that hold range or that pause range so really powerful uptrend still continuing and even had a little bit of a bullish bar right here futures are down uh third s p futures are down 30 or 40 points today so far and that's not surprising to have have some of that happening here so we could essentially pull back this momentum zone goes all the way back to 461 on spy so we could see a retracement all the way back to that area potentially or really anything inside of that is still going to be uh you know considered upward momentum and an opportunity to be buying any type of pullbacks that we see so be watching for that and gearing up for more of a pullback opportunity to build out watch lists opportunity to look for uh, things that you may want to pursue on a uh, on a pullback from these levels if we look at the one year time frame on spy just really extreme right here uh, not really extreme but in terms of this overall trend that we've had for the last year at the upper end of that range and just certainly needs some time to to uh, digest this overall uptrend think of a think of a strong rally like this as a as a as a race as a marathon as a or, or even a sprint you know sprinting hard to this area it needs some time to pause needs some time to rest and we'll see if that ends up happening here in the markets here uh, over this next week or so if we take a look at uh, bonds we've seen we, we've seen uh, tlt and again these are etfs that we're focusing on tlt is the 20 year plus treasury bond ETF and price activity on that has been really good, good solid upward trend, finding some resistance around that $99 range and uh, and ultimately, you know, the the bond market could see a retracement right here as well. And just again, as I pause from this overall momentum that we've seen recently, potential pullback to 95 uh, on that deeper range. If it uh, continues to retrace, then that 95 range for TLT could become some support uh, again in the shorter term. If we look at um, the current sectors, if we had any kind of a budge, again, we haven't had we haven't had a market open for a few days. So we're still looking at the, this is still data from last week as well. Didn't have any data yesterday because of the market uh, being closed. So uh, it'll be nice to get back into the swing of things here this week. Uh, sectors, same story again, the same as yesterday. It's not what it won't, it will not have changed. And uh, so still positive bullish trends, just getting some retracement, getting some pullback. And this is going to be a, you know, it's going to be a, a, a good time, a healthy time to see some consolidation, some correction, see ultimately what is going to stick here in this uh, in this uh, upward end of this range. We're also seeing these new buy lists. We're seeing stock, just less and less stocks. Again, there's just less stocks that are they're already in uptrends. There's less and less stocks that are entering this range. A couple of stocks I wanted to point out today, NXE, which has got a nice looking uptrend pattern. Uh, this is a 
um, in the basic materials, mineral mining sector, upward momentum trend holding there, seeing some bouncing off of those areas as well. Potential breakout and continuation of that overall uptrend on NXC. And another stock to uh, consider this week is TAL, which is in that education space and uh, has, a, has a nice confirmation bar here. We can get this to uh, refresh and uh, take a look at that chart. There it goes. And we've got this upward momentum range bouncing off of that 236 and a good solid confirmation bar. Let's, uh, let's add in some volume and see if we had some decent volume. Nice volume day as well. So good confirmation bar. Really like TAL. It's been a nice performer this last year and uh, looking like it wants to continue that overall uptrend. That'll do it for today's update. If you don't have full access to the software tool, you can sign up with the link below. And we look forward to having you. Have a fantastic day today.